really, I think, that the Minar has gained such importance in the last 15 years. It's really come on so many posters and it's become an icon. It wasn't that much of an icon when it was first inaugurated. If you look at the structure, there's the crescent, red for the sacrifice, green for Islam, the two wings of East and West Pakistan. This part that comes out is basically a flower petal in his concept. That's why he didn't want it capped, because he said if you cap it, it stunts the growth. In 59, there were very few architects around who had the experience he had. So very often, he just gets the credit for the architectural design, but he was also involved in the engineering design. He did that because he said, I have to repay the country who gave me a homeland. My father himself had written, he had designed it to last for decades. And um, actually there was a sheet I found on the structural design. It's calculated for an earthquake force of 10, for a wind speed of 120 miles per hour. So, you know, because he wanted it to survive for generations. And inshallah it will survive.